Hi YouTube. I wanted to use my old PC as a media center downstairs and wanted to use a digital output from my home theater. However, most computers don't have a coaxial digital output, so I decided to use the front mic jack as a coaxial digital output. You can purchase brackets that have both an optical and digital connector, but I didn't want to spend $15 for it, and I'd have to wait a few days to get it. So all you'll need to do is take the mic in and mic power wires and plug them into the header of your motherboard. Luckily my case had the pins separate from the header connector, but if yours doesn't then you'll need to use a flathead screwdriver to pull the tab that holds the pin connector in and pull the pins out. Be careful not to pull the tab up too much as you could snap the tab off in case you ever want to reattach the wire. Also, by removing these wires, the mic jack on the front of your computer is being repurposed from a mic input jack to a coaxial digital output. If you would still like to connect a microphone to your PC, you will now have to connect it to the back side of the PC going forward. The header on my motherboard was marked as SPDIF underscore O. Interestingly, my motherboard only had a 2-pin header, but most have a 3-pin header that allows for optical and coaxial outputs. I don't think there's a polarity or direction for the mic power and mic in wires, but if you aren't hearing any sound, you can try flipping them as a last resort. Once you have mic power and mic in connected to this SPDIF header, then you can go on to the next step. You'll need a 3.5mm to RCA cable, which I also happen to have around the house. Connect the 3.5mm jack to the front mic jack, and then plug the red RCA plug into your sound device that has a coaxial digital input. Finally, you'll need to make sure that your PC is set up to output digital audio. On a Windows PC, simply go to Control Panel, Sound Settings, and in the Playback tab, select Digital Output. and either click set default if that's what you want your default device as or click apply to make it a temporary change. Click OK to exit the sound properties window and test to see if the sounds working. If not there may be other settings that you need to change to make sure the sound is going to the digital output instead of an analog output. An easy way to check and see if sound is indeed going to the digital output is to either check the sound meter by clicking the sound icon on the bottom right of the taskbar or under sound properties next to the digital output device. If you do see some kind of output on the sound meter, then everything should be set up correctly in Windows and you may need to flip the mic power and mic in wires around. You can also try using the white RCA jack instead, but from my testing, the red RCA jack worked. If not, then you may have some software installed on your computer for your sound card or onboard sound and need to change settings there. Hopefully this was a quick and easy hack for anyone needing to add digital output functionality to your PC without needing to order additional parts. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.